Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com and today I'm in Boulder, Colorado talking with you about how to prepare for Jedi versus Empire bots and <laughs> it's kind of a funny idea. I just gave a talk recently, a keynote presentation for the West Coast Dowsers Conference which was held at UC Santa Cruz and during that talk there were some amazing things that came through in the discussion when people came up to ask questions one is, people were asking, is it true that one person really can make a difference? Just one person. And I said yes, and then it came up again, is that really true? Can one person make a difference? Yes. <laughs> and I think it came up a third time, either at question and answer or with a conversation with people afterward. In any case, the reason that I feel so confident about that has a lot to do with what I've been talking about, reality shifting, quantum jumps, Mandela effects, and the idea that we all can connect at a very deep level to this idea of how good can it get. When you do that, in essence, you're doing what nature does when nature is able to jump to the correct answer for photosynthesis, for example, to get the fastest possible way to transmit energy in a leaf, uh, through a leaf, rather, and um, it happens in all of the evolutionary leaps when we see a fossil record suddenly take a jump we don't see a smooth steady progress we see evolutionary leaps and jumps and bounds so at each of those moments what we can do is be aware that these things happen in nature and we absolutely can be part of it and connecting our intentions to uh, how good can it get is my in my opinion is one of the best ways to leave a question open-ended that nature can then answer and this ties in with the work of Henry Stapp, who's a physicist at UC Berkeley, or was, and he's still writing lots of books and papers and got fabulous ideas about this. And so the other thing that came up as a big idea uh, when I was giving my keynote presentation is the concept that we are not our thoughts and feelings. We are the observer of those thoughts and feelings. And I have done a video on this and a blog post about it before. So this is the idea of the identity, influence, and the observer. So clearly, we are able to influence things based on our identity as recognizing we're not swept up in the nitty gritty, but we can take that step back. We can be the observer that takes a step back and observes everything, and from that vantage point, truly make a difference. And so this is uh, basically the big takeaways that I had from both of those. And going back to the work of Henry Stapp and this idea that you can ask nature questions and get answers, which I love, he also points out that the quantum Zeno effect provides us with the idea that the answers follow your questions. P by posing the questions fast enough, you can make the answers agree with what the questions are that you ask. And so this is a way of locking in a desired answer. So once you start asking how good can it get, stay on course, keep that idea. And then going back to the original topic of this whole video and the blog today about what is this business with Jedi and the Empire bots. And right now, I, <laughs> I, got a, I received um, a message from one of my friends on social media who says one road leads to artificial intelligence and it's merging with humanity and the other leads to evolution of average people to X-Men without using machines. At some future destination, there will be Empire and Jedi among the bots. <laughs> Just a thought to leave you with, because you know me, and when I like to look at situations about the future, clearly there are some risks when people give away our humanity, when we give away that which makes us human about loving, about connecting with this idea of how good can it get. And when we do that, and we lose the ability to be observers, get swept up in the drama, that's when we can feel troubled by things. So we need to keep on track <laughs> Keep asking, how good can it get? <laughs> Enjoying the wonderful days of summer like I am today in Boulder, Colorado. This is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com reminding you to keep asking, how good can it get? Thank you.